Typically, when you get a blood test at the doctor's office, it can take hours or even days before you get the results, and it usually involves needles and syringes. But CU Boulder researchers hope a new device can deliver results in an hour using just a finger prick of blood. Joining us now is our health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. And first of all, this sounds dangerously familiar. There's a Netflix show about a true story <laughs> about this. Um, Elizabeth Holmes serving time in prison for it. But, but this is pretty interesting to think you could get those results so quickly. It is very interesting. In fact, it can change the way that we deliver medicine. So guys, we're already sort of doing this with a lot of tests, right? So think about a pregnancy test. What does that do? It gives you the result right away. Think about a COVID test, right? It's an antigen test. It gives you the result right away. Yeah. Those are, are qualitative, yes, no tests. A glucometer, which is a little prick that tells you what your blood sugar is, gives you a qualitative result right away. But we haven't gotten very good at doing this with more sophisticated markers in the blood were sort of just basic sugar and yes or no answers. So this could open the door for that. How has a blood test developed over the last 20 years? I mean, it used to be test for 20 things and now it tests for a myriad of things. And some might, you and I were just talking about this because I had one done recently. You said, ask for this, this, and this yeah. as well. Well, this is evolution of medicine. The more we test, the more we learn. And in fact, what we're learning and perhaps where we're headed in the future is that we could have microchips of information where that one drop of blood could run many different tests. And right now we look for proteins, but eventually we could even start testing for genes and testing for you know, how the genes are expressed and developed and what have you, and putting all that together to help refine somebody's risk prediction. But for the most part right now, we're doing kind of our basic standard tests, as you pointed out, Kim, with the puncture in the vein. You take out the blood, you send it to the lab, it takes four to six hours to run the test, the sample could degrade, and then it takes days before you get the result. I, I'm just curious about how, how this all plays out because I think of how Dr. Google has become a problem I'm for doctors. We, everyone does their own research. Because if you do it at home, you're like, oh! Yeah. I know, so I know I don't what's see, wrong with I don't me. see this coming into your homes yet. I see this at the doctor's office. It's what we call point of care testing. Okay. You walk into my office and I say, hey, let's take a look and see if I'm an oncologist, how that cancer marker is doing today. Or let's take a look and see how you're responding to the antibiotics and what your you know, bacterial count looks like or what have you. That's how I see the application for this test. And now, from pricking the finger to a result? within 70 minutes. And so the way that this works is I take a little drop of your blood, I put it in a little vial, a well, and then I use what's called an acoustic pipette, which is a pipette that delivers sound waves to the blood. And the sound waves are fancy sound waves that actually split the blood particles, and they're designed to split out the particles that I'm looking for. And then I use fluorescence, which is a light sensor, to see how many of those particles. So now I'm talking about a 70 minute result. I'm talking about the same accuracy as a blood test that takes four to six hours, and how has to be sent out. And I'm talking about something that can be done with a handheld device and a pipette in real time. So if this actually comes to market, you're talking about a whole different way of thinking about how we do medical care in the office. Well, it, it, and I'm glad to hear that being in the medical office. Is that something that doctor would want? I mean, is that good for you all? Very That's, much so. Okay. Because a lot of times I say, okay, go and get your cholesterol done, and then the patient forgets, or the sample's mm -hmm. degraded, or what have you, and then it takes forever to get the results. So by the time I make the change in the medicine, you've lost time already. And that's for a like, preventive thing. And if it's something that would change your management in real time, I try to send it stat. But even a stat test can take a day or so to come back, and it could be the difference between life and death. So I'm really optimistic that this is going to change what I do and kind of how I deliver care. And where the company is headed is they're getting a startup, their startup, they're getting venture funding. And what they're going to try to do is, is try to run many different samples at the same time so that maybe I could take one prick of your blood and get many different tests. Or you could run many patient samples in a single little cassette so that it saves the healthcare system a lot of money. We were just talking about this whole neighborhood in Ball Arena and what's going to happen by the year 2050, which to me sounds like a thousand years away. It's <laughs> it does. not. But by 2050, I mean, people may be doing this on their phones, right? They may be seeing this themselves and uh, the Dr. Google question, but in another way, like people, this is going to become much more Available. Accessible. Yeah. Totally, Tom. In fact, I think we've already made our way there with something called continuous glucose monitors. I have a bunch of patients walking around with stickers, patches on their arms, and it tells them after they eat what their blood sugar is on their phone. And that's instant feedback that instantly changes your behavior. So imagine if we could do that at home and change people's health. Imagine if we could do that in rural settings where people can't access mm -hmm. care. Right. I mean, this is game changing if it really does come through. Well, CU Boulder researchers, let's go that way. A lot of people invested in Theranos and that 
was not. But that's why people wanted it. It's good. Thank you, Dr. And Foley. it made for a good TV show. Yeah, well, <laughs> that too. Okay. And you can find much more with Dr. Coley at 9news.com slash Dr. Coley.